Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about baling. We'll look at baling hay and straw. We'll both look at the round baler and square baler. And we'll also look at baling silage. Uh, so all of that will be in this tutorial. Let's look at the uh, shop. Here's the baling technology. I will show all of these pieces of equipment except for the trailer. The trailer is just a flat surface. You can use your bale spike, put bales on there, strap them down, haul it wherever. I'm not going to show that. I also don't recommend it. You're going to be working with a lot of bales. It's a super slow process. I really recommend just saving up for one of these auto collectors. Um, so let's look first at the round baler. The round baler is smaller, so you don't need quite uh, you don't need a huge tractor to pull it. The round bale collector, this one right here, you can see the round baler, can hold eight bales. The silage baler, which is this one right here, can only wrap round bales. So if you want to do silage, you do have to use the round bale collector. But again, it can only hold eight in its auto stacker. The square baler is way over here. It's this one on the far right. It is huge. You will need a lot of power to pull it. The nice thing about the square baler is that the auto stacker here can hold 16 bales. So if you're working with a lot of quantity, you'll probably want to go with the square baler. It also bales them a little faster, which I'll show later on. The disadvantage of the size of it and the fact that if you want to do silage bales, you cannot do that with square bales. They do have to be round. There is a smaller auto stack here. Um, for square bales. It, it only holds three and it's really tricky to use. I'll show that in this episode as well. I don't recommend it because of how hard it is to use, but it is an option. Uh, you can bale hay, straw, or grass. I assume the only reason you'd want to bale grass is for silage, but that's totally up to you in your gameplay. In this episode, I will be showing the hay baling with the round baler. And way down yonder in the distance, I will show the square baler with straw, but again, e any of these balers work with any of these uh, any of these types, uh, hay, grass, or straw. It doesn't matter. That's just how I'm choosing to do it for my video. So to use the round baler, go ahead and lower it, turn it on, and start driving over. I have already mowed, tetted, and windrowed this and I've already grown a field and windrowed a field over there of straw swath. If you don't know how to do that I'll link a tutorial to my straw and hay tutorial in the description uh, and that'll get you this far and then this will get you the rest of the way to bales. So for the round baler drive over it. Every bale whether it's square or round will have 4,000 uh, units of whatever you're picking up. With the round baler every time it fills up you have to stop unload it. Uh, for PC it's Y uh, you can check your console for your for whatever the button is for you. Um, and then you have to close it back up, drive forward again. When it's full, you'll stop again, unload it, close it back up, keep driving. So it's a little slower to bail with um, because you do have to keep stopping. The square baler, you don't have to do that, and I'll show that later. So let's decouple this. Let's quickly show how to make silage bales. If you have the silage uh, bale wrapper, you can only do this with hay or grass bales. You cannot do this with straw. So do this. Um, it's already unfolded. All you have to do is draw, uh, drive this arm over the hay or grass bale. It'll pick it up. It'll start wrapping it. It does take quite a bit of time and unfortunately if I get out of the tractor it stops wrapping it so I can't go do other things. So I just have to sit here and wait for it to bail. So I'll probably speed up the camera just a little bit. And there we go. So again, it does take a little bit of time, but you don't have to ferment it or anything like that. That is a bale of silage. Now I can drive it wherever I want. And when I'm ready, I hit Y to unload or again, whatever your unload button is in the top left and it'll drop it off. And there we go, there's a silage bale. It's that easy. Again, it has to be hairs, grass, and it has to be round. So let's look at the auto collector for the round bales. 
This is the one that can hold eight, uh, unlike the square baler. What? That is bizarre. Okay. Uh, unlike the square baler, which can do 16. So anyway, put it in operating position uh, on PC. That's the B key. And all you have to do is drive the arm over that. It'll collect it. It can do two really quickly, and then it has to sort of move everything back. You'll see it push it back, and then that red arm has to come back forward. If I wanted to pick up silage, I can mix and match. So I can pick up some silage here, like that. And then I'd have to wait for it to move. Um, when you're ready to unload, whether you have a full stack or not, all you have to do is hit Y, and that'll start the unloading process. So once you hit Y, it'll um, kind of move it back like this, and then you'll have to hit Y again to confirm. So right now I can drive wherever I want. I'm going to show where to sell these. If you don't want to use them for feed, you can sell them here at the barn. And yes, it does take um, silage bales as well. Drive them in that little zone, and then you can hit unload again, or Y on the PC. And there you go. Bales sold. If you don't want to sell them, go ahead and take them down to your cows or wherever you want to use them. Um, but that is where you will sell them. So that is the round baler and silage bales. Let's go look at the square baler. So here's some straw swath that I've already windrowed. I'm just going to use the square baler here just because I want to. You can use the round baler with straw. You can use the square baler with hay. Totally up to you. The nice thing about the square baler is that you never have to stop driving it. Once it fills up, it just keeps pushing it out the back here automatically. And you can just drive, drive, drive until you're all done. And it'll just uh, constantly uh, push them out when it's full. And you'll see I don't have to do anything, press anything, and it falls out. And you keep driving. If I do want to unload it, I can turn it off, hit the unload button, it'll push them out, and then you can put it away. Now let's say I have 431 pieces of straw in this baler, but I need this baler to go pick up hay. Or let's pick up grass, just because I have some grass here. As soon as you pick up something new, it'll convert everything else to that thing. So if I'm about to pick up grass, all, 40, 300, sorry, all 431 pieces of straw will convert to grass. And that just makes it nice and like user-friendly. Um, and then say I wanted to go pick up hay, as soon as I picked up hay, it'll turn everything in the unit in the bottom right, you can watch, it'll go from grass to hay. Um, so that makes it nice, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it. If you have some excess in there, it's not a big deal. Uh, don't worry about it, just pick up what you want to pick up and the game will sort of take care of it. So that's the square baler. Again, it's, it takes a lot of power to use, but you never have to stop when you're uh, bailing. You can just keep driving. First, I'll show you the uh, small auto stack. Uh, again, this does three. The difficult thing about this is that you have to be super, super precise, and you have to get the square bale right under here, and it's really difficult. So if I drive over this, like you would think that should have worked, it did not, <laughs> and you, it's it's weird. It's it's really difficult. Um, Whereas the other auto stacks, you just kind of have to be kind of accurate. Um, but anyway, I could get one more under there if I was skilled enough, I guess. When you're ready to unload, again, hit the unload button. And then you can drive it again. And then you have to confirm it with another unload button, which is Y on the PC. And that's that little guy. Uh, oh, I did not want to hit that button. I apologize. Let's get back to this. So there's that. Let's show you the eight, not 18, the 16 square bale auto stacker over here. This one's a lot easier to use. All you have to do, uh, you can see the little arm on the right. Um, right now it's going up, now it's going down. All you have to do is get a bale somewhat near that. Just touch it and it'll automatically put it on. You don't have to be super, super precise like that thing. Again, it'll push it back. Once it comes back down, you can get a couple more on there pretty quickly. And then it'll lift it again and then you have to wait for it to come back down. So again, you can do 16 of these when you're ready to unload. Hit the unload button. It will stack everything up. And then once again, like the other auto stackers, you do have to hit the unload button one more time 
just to confirm that that's where you want it. So right now I can still kind of place it where I want. And then when I'm ready to, I hit Y again, and there's my stack. And again, you can do 16. It's, it's a really nice thing to look at. If you don't want to use an auto stacker and you want to just move these around uh, by yourself, you will need a loader, whether you use a front loader attachment, a front loader, or a telehandler, skid steer, wheel loader, whatever you want to use, you will need either a spike, a bale handler, bale fork. I use the bale spike exclusively. I think it's super easy to use. That's what I have on here. All you do is drive it in the, the hay or the, or the bale, just drive it in the bale, and there you go. Now you can go sell it, you can drop it in your power food mixer, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and it's, it's as easy as that. So if you don't want to sell it at the barn, you can obviously use it for power food or any other type of food. You can use the straw blower um, with your straw bales. And so I'll just show you real quick. I keep a little stack of each one here. And then if I want to, I can get my bale spike, put it in my power food mixer. Um, I could put a straw bale in my uh, straw blower, which I don't actually have right now. So that is baling. If you have any questions about bailing, uh, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Please leave a like and or a dislike. Subscribe if you feel like it. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.